We all know electric boat motors exist, but what about electric outboard motors? Well, do I have a treat for you? Yep, in this week's short and sweet video, I'll be checking out three electric outboard motor options to upgrade your small boat or dinghy to pure, cheap, clean, reliable electric power with help from Chris from electricboat.co.nz. We're going to start with this one, which is a blue ribbon, or in French, the brand is French, it's uh, what's in French? Ruban Bleu. There we go. Okay, so what can you tell me about this solid piece of metal? So this is the motor from the red boat that you were testing earlier, which is also built by Ruban Bleu. The entire motor turns, so that gives you incredible maneuverability. You can turn the motor right sideways and then the boat will spin on the spot. I had a lot of fun driving this on the, on the water, but how much power does it actually have? So this is a 1.6 kilowatt motor. Uh, we do actually offer pod motors in all powers up to uh, 15 kilowatt, which will replace a 30 horsepower motor. Why would someone install one of these instead of boring old conventional combustion? Uh, it's completely silent and it's simple and virtually maintenance free because you have only got the one moving part there. The only maintenance items are the seals just inside there, which are changed every 2000 hours. Uh, the brushless version will go several thousand hours without maintenance. But to put that into perspective, a typical petrol two-stroke outboard um, will only last 2,000 hours for its whole lifetime, and in that time it'll have had many, many services, oil changes, impeller changes, all of which cost time and money. So these are virtually maintenance-free and virtually indestructible. They're designed specially for uh, commercial hire craft that go in and out every single day, getting abused by customers that don't know what they're doing. So I've seen this beast in action on the Akaroa, a little red craft that we were potting around in earlier. What about if I have a dinghy or something that I want to just get from boat to shore? Well, these are a heavy commercial grade motors designed to be indestructible, but we also have motors that are optimized for lightweight and performance. And if you're taking a little tender out to your mooring, what you want is something portable and lightweight. And uh, that's what we're going to look at next. Okay, so this is it. This is the electric output motor. It is the Thrust Me Kicker, which is incidentally also my name at high school. It's not the usual outboard shape you expect to see. You know, it's normally got this big, noisy, clunky bit that you know, pollutes on the top. And then of course you need the petrol tank. Where's the, where's the equivalent of the petrol tank? Where's the battery on this? So the battery is actually inside that fat shaft in your hand there. Far out. It's a very compact, lightweight motor. So this is a battery and a motor in one. That's so light. That's insane. Okay, let's have a go at, uh, at attaching it and trying not to drop it in the drink. Okay, see if you can find all the bits in there and work out what they do. Oh, oh boy. Okay, do we have the Jeopardy music? I, well, don't, I don't think I can afford the rights to that. If in doubt, there is one of these. <laughs> Please be in English. It was in English and the Thrust Me Kicker outboard kit comes with everything, motor, battery, charger, tiller, even a spare propeller, plus being electric it's waterproof as well. The whole thing installs in less than a minute, even with clumsy old me doing the install and with no dirty petro fuels it's ready to go right out of the box. So attaching it is the same as any other outboard motor, just goes on the transom. See look I know boat words, transom. <laughs> There's bound to be about 300 boatologists in the comments saying that, Gavin, you've done that wrong. And look, I admit I'm not a qualified boatologist. I do apologize. That's too easy. Okay, so it's a piece of cake to install. It runs off a wireless remote. The question is, what's it like out on the water? Let's give it a go. Okay, so we're in power one mode. It is actually running, I promise. Yeah, I know it's electric, so of course I love it, but far out. It's just so quiet. I can hear a lawnmower up on the hills. Okay, let's try reverse. All done by hand, of course. And stop. And now, it's got full power. Well, that's got a bit of ground for a little thing, hasn't it? Okay, so according to the manual, if you run it down at moderate power, you know, like that, it'll go for about two and a half hours on the tiny battery built into the shaft of this thing. I wish this sort of stuff existed when I was a kid because you can just go all day long with this thing and it's waterproof as well, up to a meter. You can't do that with two-stroke. I just love where the technology is going with this stuff. Imagine waking up in your boat and you have an army of these things starting up in the morning instead of an army of two-strokes and diesels. What a happier place it would be. This is magic. 
This is perfect for the perfect replacement for most boaties because all you're going to do is go from shore to the boat to the wharf to the beach. You're never going to run a dinghy with a little outboard on it for longer than a few minutes. And this thing will go for two and a half hours. No parts, no servicing, no exhaust, no belts and pulleys and filters. You just plug it in and use it. Like if you had the choice between one of these and a combustion model, why wouldn't you buy one of these? It's brilliant! It is brilliant and Thrust Me also makes a kayak version if you happen to be a kayakologist, which is lighter and more compact and simply straps on. It's also really efficient and on its low power setting can run all day with its built-in battery. And it comes in this handy backpack. It actually rotates around kind of almost underneath. Yeah. Oh, no way! So yeah, you, you still steer with the kayak paddle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you have this to give you an extra boost. So. At low power, that'll go all day long. When you want to paddle and you don't want to use the electric motor, you unlock it there, twist it round on top, and lock it down Look there. That. And if you have a bigger craft and want more power and speed, there's yet another electric outboard option I took on the water. And like all the boats and motors from electricboat.co.nz, it runs on clean electricity from Ecotricity, New Zealand's only climate positive electricity provider. So if you want to make a positive impact on climate change and save money on your power bill, come and join the good fight at ecotricity.co.nz. Saving money while helping to reverse climate change has never felt better. Okay, so we have here a Torquedo electric motor. This is an electric outboard motor. It is a motor with a separate battery. Okay, Chris, behind the camera, what can you tell me about this beast? Well, that's a two kilowatt motor, but it has a boost up to two and a half kilowatts for a short time. Ooh, sweet. It's a 24 volt motor. And you can actually buy the same motor for the same price at 48 volts, and it'll have twice the power. Oh yeah. And uh, inside that box there, you will find the battery. So that weighs uh, approximately 25 kilograms. And uh, that one has 2.7 kilowatt hours of capacity. Um, yeah. The new model actually has three and a half kilowatt hours of capacity. Brilliant. And the new model of this motor has three kilowatts of power. So uh, they've both recently been upgraded a little bit. So uh, yeah, it's a little overpowered for this dinghy, but um, that's great if you want to have fun. I like the sound of that. The display there will show you uh, your range in miles uh, or kilometers as you prefer. And um, that will recalculate uh, based on the GPS inside the motor. It knows how fast it's going and it knows how much power it's using. Let's give it the beans. Frikey! <laughs> Ooh, this moves all right. And it's so quiet. I am Gavin Jack Sparrow. It's got more than enough power for everything you need, eh? I can't believe how maneuverable this thing is. Like so much more maneuverable than a two-stroke. I'll just chuck in reverse. And boom, we're flying backwards like that. And when you're off, drop it in forwards. And you're off. This is wicked! Yep, electric cars have gone mainstream and now electric boats are doing the same with the overall costs being simply unbeatable. The only question is, what's next? Well, hit the subscribe button to find out in the next video.